So we got the movie Knights of the Zodiac is an action-packed hand-to-hand combat Cosmo live adaptation fantasy from the hit series manga slash anime with the same name. I love anime in general but I didn't know anime like this existed because it was adapted to live adaptation which we're going to talk about that in a second but I'm glad that I saw the movie in theaters. That's right in theaters because it intrigued me so much that on my Crunchyroll subscription I searched up Knights of the Zodiac and I saw like the series and the dubs and the subs so it's it's definitely in my watch list i mean there's a lot of anime out there it's hard to like find stuff but basically i am reviewing this movie just a movie alone but with anime like love i love anime i mean come on sao sword art online i love anime in general I just started watching it consistently on crunchyroll which is my subscription but i never i never grew up with the original series or the original anime that this movie is based on so i don't have that emotional or grew up attachment but i'm still gonna be like letting you know that i do have love for anime but let's get one thing clear live adaptation gets a bad rap i mean let's be honest dragon ball z evolution was really bad and that was like the infamous one that everyone knows because they literally changed the characters the tones the themes like the way the anime itself represented and i'm not a developer of anything like i'm not a sketchbook artist but we've seen anime especially this year be incredible especially on the big screen and that's new anime such as suzume that we did a review on this channel demon slayer yes granted it wasn't really a movie but movie on the demon on the Mugan train was amazing and even sword art online that came out this year progressive night of schedule and also the first one that came out this year was I feel like that time I got reincarnated as a slime so anime has come a long way so I don't know why they did live adaptation my hunch my guess is to appeal to a wider audience which they successfully did because I didn't know anything about the anime until this movie came out in theaters which we'll talk about in a second but I don't know if they wanted to just update the original know like anime to its I don't want to say like next level graphics but the graphics of anime in theaters this year felt and looked great so I don't know why they went that route I mean unknown questions to unknown answers that we're probably not gonna get a result anywhere anytime soon. McKenyu plays as Pegasus a street kid battling his way underground until he finds himself in trouble when he unleashes an unknown cosmetic wave that invokes the interests of alliances and deviants alike. Suddenly a father figure offers him a safe harbor to place to learn about his destiny and to find his knowledge gap to get him to up to speed with all the knights. Athena's coming back, so it deals with kind of the Greek gods, but in this fantasy island space mythical realm. But it's close resembly to humans because I do see like myself in there. I mean, they're literally playing as humans. He has told that he has to be trained by the cosmos, that he needs an armor to accept him to become the knight of Pegasus Knight, and his destiny is to protect and serve the beautiful and absolutely downright perfect babe Athena played by Madison Eisman which she is a goddess not in just in this movie but in also real life oh literally jaw dropping drooling over the actress like beautiful casting by the way we get up to speed and we spend most of the time training fighting discovering flashbacks to what truly is what he is running away from for the armor to accept him so he become the Pegasus Knight Famke Jason plays as Gurat and I'm totally botching those names so I do apologize if those are not sounding right plays as the evil beautiful villain feels like she has an agenda that is predictable and kind of formulaic not gonna lie to you but it's a nice addition I guess and one thing too that I saw when I was watching the movie one thing that really stands out is the amazing cast everyone looks beautiful the hand-to-hand -hand combat McKenyu scenes when he's fighting and dodging looks amazing especially the martial arts like that's one thing that I really do praise the movie for like the hand-to-hand -hand fighting the movie looks amazing but and keep in mind I never watched the original anime I did look at some series and different seasons of shows after watching watching this and what I'm touching about that in a second it's because a lot of people may not like the visuals and I can see why but they're not that bad I mean they're better than what it was before especially for lab adaptation I mean things could be worse the martial arts like I told you before felt great like the hand to hand comment some of the CGI like the effects the spells like the throwing stuff they felt good in the Cosmo incorporated into the humans I thought that was pretty cool like oh my gosh like this does look like live adaptation has gone better but I don't think it'll be like pinnacle like oh my gosh I'm Amazing technology you might need like a triple a blockbuster money behind it but the armor the armor is like I'm, I'm just like hmm really like is this is this the armor was really good and, and I think some people were like taken aback by it like everything else looks great just the one thing is the armor the when they get the armor when I put some pictures on, on the screen right now for you it just felt like I can get this at like Amazon or something like party said like I'm not trying to be like mean but I'm just looking at the movie like everything it looks good like the CGI the fantasy scapes the cosmos the fighting you know the blue the neon stuff 
but just the armor to me i'm like really that looks like like i'm going to comic con in chicago illinois and i'm just like that is something that i could probably like buy or like something that i could maybe it maybe it's made of good material but it just felt i'm like yeah it, do, it just doesn't look that good and i'm not trying to be weird and you know guys you guys know me i'm trying to be always like nice upbeat glass half full guy like positive but just the armor maybe could have used a little bit better work that just me just me being honest with you it just did not look hollywood i i don't mean to be rude but it's just it did not look hollywood i'm just sorry it just did not look hollywood now comparing to dragon ball evolution like i told you i don't have emotional connections with the original anime but i would say generally this is looks better than dragon ball evolution because dragon ball evolution was really shoddy and the effects and the cg on this are not that bad and they're actually better than dragon ball but dragon ball came out years ago so i feel like if you grew up with the anime if you studied the anime if you loved the anime this might be good or bad depending on how like your emotion is based on like the movie that you're seeing because i didn't grow up with this so i don't have that emotional attachment and i'm sorry but i will watch the anime because i was introduced to this universe based on the movie is what i'm trying to say that like, i'm glad that the movie existed because i never grew up with the anime i didn't even know the anime like that existed without this movie because anime is such a big place so it's like ugh. for many people live adaptation for this i feel like it was my first introduction and it was successfully done especially for me because now i'm checking out the anime but when i'm watching the anime on crunchyroll the different seasons series and like the dubs and subs episodes like it's all over the place like some of the anime looks great like 3d model rendering but then i go back further into like the original stuff from like late 1990s or 1980s i'm like whoa like yes yeah, some of that anime i'm just like yeah i can see why they're trying to do a live adaptation and this might be just the beginning because the other anime are like coming out later but i'm glad that they made this movie because i get to be introduced into like this anime the movie did kind of move kind of fast i mean it's only a two hours but i feel like it's trying to compensate for a lot giving us a lot of characters a lot of dialogue a lot of setting up to do and it doesn't i feel like i feel like it doesn't give us enough moments small enough to breathe to get in touch or connected with some of these characters outside some key pivotal moments i mean yeah we get those character developing moments like oh my gosh like i don't want to say they're on a date but they're talking to each other they're uh, character arcs but it's not as much as i thought it would have liked because it just moves at such a brisk pace that it needs to like tackle on so many things so i'm just like hard for me to get invested in some of the characters but yeah it was relatively easy to follow oh my gosh guy gets picked out of unknown earth oh my god he has to be transformed into like the night he has to protect this beautiful girl which i do suspect if they do make a sequel there'll be some romance i mean there's some pivotal moments in romance and i love romance i'm like oh my god i mean come on who cannot fall in love with athena she's just beautiful gorgeous right there oh and to close out when i left the theater i talked to some of the people and some of them said it wasn't that bad it could have been worse but it was still a nice fun jumpy movie yeah i guess i guess the general consensus was maybe live adaptation was not the best way but i guess they wanted to appeal to a wider audience i don't know and i don't think and i really want to i don't know if they'll still make a sequel because it does set up for a sequel there's some enemies that are still alive that's all i'm gonna say and they, they could have died but they didn't but i don't know if it'll make a sequel because the general consensus is if you grew up with the anime it really depends on how you look at it because it's it's all different to you and it's all different to me but i'm happy they made this but then when i go back to the original anime it's very shoddy and very different but i'm still happy that we get this movie i'm gonna give this a c i'm very excited where the series goes next at the end of the day i don't know if it will and i'm really scared that it does it because people are not being kind to this movie but to me like i said i never grew up with the anime so i don't have that emotional attachment if you made it this far i appreciate you so much maybe consider hitting that like button and turning on notifications so you never miss a video and with that take care bye